Hey guys, it's Raya. So two summers ago, I went backpacking across Europe with two of my best friends, and the route that we did was London, Bruges, Luxembourg, Munich, Prague, Vienna, Budapest, Zagreb, Venice, Bologna, Rome, Amsterdam, and then back to London. And I think that's all of them, but I ended up bringing everything I needed in my backpack for a whole month, and my packing list ended up being perfect, and I've basically used it for all of my trips since then. So I thought I'd share with you guys what I took with me backpacking around Europe. So the first thing that you need is a backpack, obviously. I got this one in like a random store like two days before we left, and I basically just tried a bunch on to see which was the most comfortable, and this one was it, and I love it because I collect patches everywhere I go, so I've like personalized it, and it's been on a lot of adventures with me. I think it's like 50 liters. Um, you can decide for yourself what size you think you'll need, but I wouldn't really go above this. At least 40 to 50, I'd say. So this is my backpack, and I love it, and let me show you what's inside. Let's start with clothes. So I only brought three pairs of pants, a pair of jeans, a long, comfortable pair of pants that is perfect for days of travel, and a pair of shorts. I brought four shirts with me. Two, like, cute and comfy casual shirts, and two that are a little bit nicer. I only brought one bathing suit because we weren't really planning on going to any beaches, but you should always bring one just in case there's like a waterfall or a hot tub or something. <laughs> I also brought six dresses, but I basically live in dresses, so this is just my personal preference. In terms of underwear, I brought two bras, ten pairs of underwear, and like five pairs of socks, but you can wash things as you go, so don't worry about bringing enough for like the entire trip. You're definitely going to need a towel, but don't bring a full-size towel. I got one of these fast-drying travel towels, which was great, and it was always dry by the time I put it back in my backpack. Don't forget pajamas. A lot of people forget those, but you're going to need something to sleep in in the hostels. We went backpacking in September, where it was still pretty much summer everywhere that we went, so I just brought a light cardigan, which I could keep in my bag throughout the day, a denim jacket, which went with all of my outfits, and a light rainproof jacket, just in case. For shoes, you really only need a pair of comfortable, lightweight walking shoes, a pair of sandals or flip-flops, and a pair of sneakers if you're planning on hiking or going for a run or something. So this is obviously optional, but I really like having a journal to record what I'm feeling instead of just taking pictures of what I'm seeing, and a Kindle or a book is always good. On to the toiletries. So most girls bring way too much, but this is all I brought and it was more than enough, so let me show you what's inside. So obviously you need the essentials like deodorant and a razor, and I brought dry shampoo just in case. I brought a little lotion that I could keep in my bag, and some coconut oil which I used to remove my makeup and as a moisturizer and for like 50 million things, so that was great, but make sure you bring a Ziploc bag for that because one time it spilled and it was terrible. A toothbrush and a travel toothpaste, and shampoo and conditioner, make sure you only bring travel size because you can buy that along the way as well. You don't need to be carrying like your huge bottles of shampoo with you. Now ladies, you don't need to bring all of the feminine hygiene products that you're going to need, but always bring a couple just in case and you can buy more wherever you are. For perfume, I just bought these little tester size ones which were great because perfume goes a long way and you definitely don't need to bring your full size bottles. Bring a small mirror because you don't know where you're going to end up doing your makeup in like a field somewhere or in the middle of a train station. I also brought a mini emergency kit which had like ibuprofen and band-aids and vitamin C tablets and stuff like that. Always bring sunscreen because nothing is worse than getting sunburnt shoulders and then having to carry your backpack on that. So make sure you wear sunscreen every day. And if you have any of your own favorite lotions or shampoo or something that you need to bring from home, just buy one of these packs of travel size bottles and bring all of your favorites with you in small portions. And if you're bringing makeup, just use your like top six most used products. You only need the basics. And last but not least, the essentials. So you'll most likely need a passport and a wallet with a card and other documents. And it's good to make photocopies of this stuff just in case. A camera with its charger, a phone with its charger, and you'll most likely need an adapter. This one's great because it has like a bunch of different adapters in one. If you're planning on staying in hostels, you should definitely bring a lock because a lot of times they give you a locker but no lock, and a locker without a lock is pretty useless. Also don't forget your headphones and a pair of sunglasses. In terms of bags, I brought a bigger day bag which I could fit a lot of stuff into, and a smaller evening bag, which was great for going out with friends. 
And that's pretty much it guys, that's all I brought for a whole month and it was more than I needed. So if your list is like twice as long as mine, then double check it and make sure that you're actually going to be using everything that you're bringing. Also a super useful packing tip is I separated all my clothes into different color plastic bags. So like all the pants in one bag and all the shirts in another. And that way when I was looking for something I could just pull out the bags, take out what I needed and put it all back in really quickly and really easily without making a mess. So I hope this was helpful, and like I said in the beginning, I've actually used this packing list as like a base for all of my trips. So even if you're not going backpacking, you can still just take a look and make sure that you're kind of bringing the essentials and not too much on top of that. And I didn't bring a laptop, and neither did my friends, and we didn't miss it at all. All the hostels have computers so you can write back to home or look up where you're going next or whatever. Um, but yeah, try not to bring too many valuable things because you're backpacking, you don't need to be carrying like thousands of dollars worth of stuff. I will leave links down below to like backpacks and like other things and the towel that I mentioned. Um, just things that you might need for your trip. But um, yeah, I hope you have an incredible time wherever you're going. And I hope this is helpful and I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's called a quarter life crisis and I definitely had one and I wanted to talk to you guys about that because something happened to me that kind of like totally changed my life and opened my eyes to a whole new way of thinking.